Maria. She's a supreme singer, but what is she like without all the glitz and glamour? Entertainment guru George Pinocchio talks to those who would know. Stay with us. Special on Motown's 40th anniversary. Now, if you watch tonight, you saw Diana in all of her glamorous glory, but is that the real Ross? Well, entertainment guru George Pinocchio is here with the answer for us. George. All right, here we go then. You know, she is considered a superstar and a diva. But one of her best friends says that just isn't so. Motown's Suzanne DePass is not only one of her best friends, but she's also the godmother to one of Diana's children. She knows the woman behind all that hair and makeup. She knows the Diana Ross we never see. On stage, Diana Ross reigns supreme. Her success is due in no small part to the offstage support from her Motown family, including producer Suzanne DePass. We've been friends for 30 years. No, we weren't friends in the beginning. I can't say that. Because I was a schlepper and she was a big star. So I would say we've been friends for about 28 years. You know, okay. I had to pay like two years of dues. Those dues led to a deep and lifelong bond. And since Suzanne has known Diana for so long, I was sure there would be some secrets only she would know. I was right. She loves the grocery store and the drugstore, and we buy all the, you know, girly stuff and go and try it and, you know, <laughs> do that stuff. I mean, I think people would be surprised. And she's, by the way, the other thing about Diana Ross is she has five children. Each and every one of them is an incredible human being. And I've often said to her that I can't believe that your real talent is that, is that of being a mother. If you need me, call me. Ross is a woman of many talents, whether she's singing a love song with the Supremes, performing on her own, or with a makeshift all-star band of backup singers. This shining star's life wasn't always filled with light. There were dark times and rumors of ego problems among the group, but fellow Supreme Mary Wilson says they all had one common goal, a hit record. People always say, well, aren't you pissed, you know, because they use Diane as a singer? No, we figured whatever it took to get a hit record, to get us out there, to get us known, was great. And if he chose any one of us as a lead singer, any one of us could have handled the part. Ross says she spent her life doing what she loves, sharing what she calls her life's blessing with audiences. And for that, she credits Barry Gordy. Motown gave me the opportunity to shine. And not just me, but I think uh, every, other art, every other artist that was at Motown. And what a roster it was. There is still more Motown to come. Motown 40, the music is forever, concludes Thursday night at 9, right here on ABC7. Jeff and Anna.